All right. No Habs jersey today because it's a bit hot in this office because I had to crank up the heat because it's winter. You know what else is hot? This team. We're going to win. <laughs> How's that for a... How's that for a transition? So we're ready for our second season with Le Habitant. And I think this team could be decent or this team could be trash. There's really going to be no in-between. Uh, Toffoli, Suzuki, Caulfield as the top line. Pretty happy with that. Hoffman, Dvorak, and Gallagher. Pretty happy with that. Goals for this series, just win a goddamn cup. Uh, you got Armia, Ryan Paling, Josh Anderson on the third line. And a fourth line of A.J. Greer, friend of the channel, uh, Mitch Stevens, and Jake Evans. The defense. Uh, we tried to bring back P.K. He didn't want to come back. We tried to bring Crystal Tang home. He didn't want it. So Mark Giordano is alongside Jeff Petrie on the top pair. Kale Clegg is with David Savard. And Joel Edmondson is with Alexander Romanoff. So hopefully, hopefully, Clegg and Romanoff can have a good seasons. And then for those that missed it, uh, Carey Price went off last year. And as a result, uh, raised his own overall by about five points. Because that's what can happen. Isn't it hilarious? So yeah, Carey, Carey is up to an 89, which is great. We still have Jake Allen as the backup. And uh, yeah, Tukarski, Mahora, Tiestel are there. Should have done the Montreal series rolling. But I mean, Cody, we did that before, though. I mean, it, it wasn't that long ago that we did the QMJHL only challenge with the new Figurales. You can watch that series on YouTube right now. Uh, yeah, so hey, this is our team. The AHL stocked up with uh, some of the best young prospects the AI has refused to sign. So I'm also hopeful for this team and their ability. The defense is looking pretty good with Gooley, Struble, and company. So I'm pretty happy. This time it could be difference. No, it couldn't be difference. <laughs> this time it would not be difference. This time it would be same. You don't know difference. Difference. All right. So in terms of setup really quickly, I still need a better coach. Still need a better coach. Congrats to Bergevin. You're on the coaching staff. Uh, let's do that there. All right, so we need an associate coach and two goalie coaches really quickly. Uh, we don't have too many defensive specialists. Cesar Rashad. We will always go with the French influence where we can. So let's go for Rashad. Uh, Teaching-wise... Let's go after Silas Marquardt. The Marquardt. And we will also go after Radic Hansel. God, remember Martin Hansel? It's a name I haven't thought of literally since the day he retired. And then coaching wise, yeah, there there aren't really there aren't really that many great coaches available. Uh, let's send Nate Thompson to the W. I think we're just going to have a scout in every location. Decided not to put limitations on like earning scouts and goals for the season. We'll we'll be a little bit a little bit lighter with our restrictions in this one, but still keep it in the same general realm as what we had done uh, in Pittsburgh, which I'm still so tempted to not be done with, but that team just kept breaking my heart towards the end. U.S. West. U.S. Central. What's the plan on Redacted? I think I know what you mean by uh, who Redacted is. And for the moment, the plan is to keep him. For the moment, the plan is to keep him. And make this the most hated franchise in the league by using Redacted. They made that mess. Now we gotta rub their nose in it. And that's that. End of. All right, uh, we are gonna have trouble scouting Europe this season, but that is okay. Let's go to the Extraliga, the Extraliga. And that should be good. So that 
pretty much sets it up. Only thing to really check would be the captain situation. Gallagher is the leader on this team, as is Carey Price. Giordano, despite gold born leader, is not a locker room leader. Uh, so it is Suzuki with a letter, Gallagher with a letter, Petrie is captain. I can't have Jeff Petrie as captain. EDC, hello. How are we? I mean, Jeff Petrie probably deserves the letter over Giordano based off of his tenure. So we'll go with that. I feel like Brendan Gallagher has to be the new captain of this team. He's a locker room leader. Brendan Gallagher, the new captain of the Canadiens. And Nick, hello. Good afternoon. How are we? Uh, somebody asked how the draft went. We didn't go too crazy with it. Um, <clears throat> number one pick was Mr. Uh, Nathan Gaucher as you. Craze hits us up with 13. 13 beautiful months. Craze, thank you for that. Hope you are doing well, sir. And let's see what happens with uh, coaches. All that's well and good. Sweet. So we'll sim to the beginning of the season, as we do. And we will... We'll look around the league and see what everyone else's lineup looks like heading into this year. Best way to do it. So here we go. The regular season officially underway. This is what the Anaheim Ducks looked like with Tyler Bertuzzi, Trevor Zegers, and Troy Terry. Again, Trevor Zegers in 86 at the start of season two. So I will hear no complaints about a lower overall. Uh, Milano, Perot, and Silverberg, Comtois, McTavish, and Vetrano, Perot, Henrik, and Raquel. So Henrik and Raquel kind of get boned here. I mean, I would personally have put Vetrano on the fourth line. I don't disagree with Henrik being where he is to emphasize the younger centers, so... Interesting. Lindholm, Shattenkirk, Fowler, Drysdale, Larson, and Colin Miller was signed. Drysdale up to an 84. Nick, I am very much excited for tomorrow's stream, too. Probably too excited. John Gibson goes up to an 86. Steel Jones Galchenyuk as the scratches. Galchenyuk went up like three overall points after last season. Poor Sam Steele. They just have too much depth. No reason to sign Perot. No reason to sign Vetrano. Stolarz is still usable. As he should be. Stolarz has had a great year. Okay. As the Arizona Coyotes have Malkin, Bergeron, Genther, Duchesne, Schmaltz, Carter... Smith, Hayes, Fisher, Maselli, Hayton, Keller. Well, congratulations, Deke Slayer. Holy crap, what a team. Jesus. Jesus. We will have to send that Deke's way. <laughs> My goodness. That's outrageous. This is the start of year two, yeah. Defense is Ghost Bear, Timmons, Chikrin, Solovyov, Moser, and Kalachinuk. So they didn't leave uh, didn't leave room for any defensemen. They're going with a really, really young defense core. Solovyov is taken 13th overall. Goliwa <laughs> Mark Andre Fleury and Miko Koskinen. Scratches of Joel Esperance. Michael Dow Cole and Alex Kerfoot, who's down to a 78. So Arizona might win the cup in season two. Boston is Hallstrom Posternock. Need a rider. They are running Marshawn at center with Craig Smith. Felino, Frederick Larson, DeBrusque, Nosha Coyle. Uh, that is a lot of money to have on the fourth line. And again, why they'd play, it doesn't make, God, the AI is so dumb. Like, say what you want about, oh, well, you expect chemistry. Like, Brad Marchand should be the top line left wing. Bump down Nita Ryder to the third line. He's a third liner anyway. Play Nick Foligno at center. Play Craig Smith at center. Like, the AI really do need to factor in proper positions more often. If they did, it would actually help solve a lot of the issues that are out there if the AI focused more on proper positions. But they don't. Riley McAvoy, Grizzly Carlo, Forbort, Clifton, 
Goalies, Allmark. Jesus. He went up six overall points from season one after winning the Vesna. Swayman's up to an 83. So yeah, I really put Marshawn at center because of the 90. No, because offline uh, or outside of franchise mode, if you go best lines, they don't do that. So it's literally just down to the random coach chemistry that's assigned. Um, as it stands, we can check his face-off win percentage at the end of the season. I've seen guys that do get played out of position at center with 99 face-offs that don't win a shitload of face-offs. So. Buffalo is Skinner, Kadri, Tuck, Middlestat, uh, Alexei Akapov, who was second overall this year, and Evan Rodriguez back in Buffalo. Bjork, Gergensen's Thompson, Kajula, Osplund, Okpozo. Defense is Darlene, Yoki Haru, Bryson, Mayo, Haig, and Pullman. So again, Pullman ends up in Buffalo. Jack Campbell ends up in Buffalo, just going over the border. Ian Thomas Grice, scratches of Druan, Olofsson, and Sturm. So I tried to send Druan to Buffalo for a fresh start, and uh, yeah, they have him scratched in favor of Drake Kajula and Anders Bjork, <laughs> which, I mean, makes sense. They're two different style of players, but still. Carolina is David Perron, Sebastian Aho, Tara Vinen, Svechnikov, Kakaniemi Jarvis, Mott Stahl, Fast, Drury, Broussard, Natchez. Poor Natchez. No reason he couldn't be on the third line. Defense is Slavin Pesci, Shea D'Angelo, Ristolainen, and Bear. Goalies, Freddie Anderson and Antti Ranta. Kukin, Neil, Biega. So the scratch is CBJ is Line A, Johnson, Bjorkstrand. Look at them playing Kent Johnson where he should be. Chinnikov, Jenner, Voracek, Miller, Kopp, Robinson, Bemstrom, Corrali, Rosovich. Hmm. Hmm. Defense is Wierenski, Bokvist, Gavrikov, Peak, Bean, and Mata. Goalies, Merzlikens, and Tarasov. Scratches of Tessier, Kessel, Nyquist. Poor Phil Kessel. Think about it, the Iron Man streak. Calgary is Goodrow, Lindholm, Manjapani, Coleman, Pelletier, Kachuk, Backlund, Benino, Monahan, Sevier, Pedersen, Lewis. Yeah, Warrior, I had a feeling notifications didn't get sent out. That's why I plugged it on Twitter and Discord that we were live. So, but yeah, I had a feeling those didn't go. What are you going to do? Have I thought of lowering D'Angelo's offensive stats a bit? Nope. Stats are what they should be. By the rule or guideline that we use to decide ratings. Again, if I if I sit here and I'm like, well, it's not realistic. Like, let's make Taves an 88. It's like, I'm just doing what EA does then. Let's not do what EA does. We're going to handicap people for the sake of realism. Yet realism doesn't exist. We talked about it the other day. You look at the Vegas Golden Knights lineup of Stone, Pacioretty, uh, <laughs> Jack Eichel, and tell me that realism doesn't... And tell me realism exists. Come on now. We live in a fucking simulation. Debrinka, Taves, Kane, Kubelik, Doc, Nylander, Hagel, Strom, Pitlick, Harkins, Rask, Connolly. It's not too bad. Defense is McCabe. Murphy, Stillman, Jones, Jones, and Mitchell. Goalies are Kemper and Martin Jones. Zach Jones, Tyler Johnson is the scratches. It's funny when season three is asking for 15 mil. I haven't seen that yet personally, but I believe you. But again, AIs asking for unrealistic contracts happen with EA rosters. You know? Like, it's not exactly, it's just like, oh, well, in this instance, it's Tony D'Angelo. Like, it just. It happens no matter what. It's, it's the craziness of franchise. Nichushkin, McKinnon, Rantanen, Landeskog, Newhook, O'Connor, Parise, Jost, Comfer, Heinen, Wa, Amadio. Hmm. Defense is Taves, Makar, Makar up to a 95. Gerard, Braun, Byram, and Johnson. Hello, Crashing Angels, by the way. Goalies are Holpe, and they didn't sign a backup, so they have Trent Miner. Scratches of Lenny Ennis Chalowski. So case in point, an X-Factor doesn't mean you're automatically in the lineup in favor of somebody else who doesn't have one, so that doesn't explain the AI being done with their scratches. As Dallas has Robertson, Hintz, and Burakovsky, Ben Ayafalo, Sagan, Lemieux, Como, Faxa, Richie, Delandria, Gurionov. Defense is Haskin and Stetcher, Lindell, Green, Butcher, and Ruta. Goalies, Ottinger, and Hedobin. Hanley, Peterson, Carrick. The scratches. 
Detroit is Adina Larkin Raymond, Verana Berggren Rasmussen, Smith Valeno Ernie, Fabry Suter Jasic. So good for Joe Valeno. Good for Robbie Fabry with that brand new contract that looks like it was manually or automatically adjusted, I should say, because they were under the cap. You got Ryan Murray Mort. <laughs> Mort Sider's a 91. Yandel Ronick, Osterley, and Hall. Goalies are Nedeljkovic and Kosa is already the backup at 19. Lindstrom, Zarnik, Eakin as the scratches. Edmonton is Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, Yamamoto, Hyman, Dreisaitl, Pugliarvi, Fogel, Ryan, Cassian, McLeod, Shore, and David Gustafson. Defense, Nurse, Bouchard, Keith, Barry, Kukusisi. Goalies, Smith, and Konovalov. Scratches of Benson, Perunovic, and Jordy Bent. Florida is Huberto, Barkov, Duclair, Verhage, Lundell, Reinhardt, Denisenko, Bennett, who actually dropped a couple points, and Horkvist, Hutzko, Luotsarainen, and Tippett. Defense is Wegar and Ekblad, who only got better, Edler, Gudis, Ole Levy, and Brandon Montour. It's a hell of a team. Goalies, Paprovsky, and Spencer Knight. Scratch is a Forsling, Carlson, and Max Gilden. L.A. has Byfield, Kopitar, Kaliev, Deneau, Velarde, Anderson, Dolan, Wagner, Arvidsson, Brown. Again, it's illogical. You have all of these centers. The A.I. sucks. Uh, Grunstrup, Kapari, and Levo. Defense, Suter and Roy. Anderson, Dowdy, Bjornfot, Manson. What a traitor Josh Manson is. Goalies, Peterson and Quick. Scratches of Anderson, Walker, and Kempe get scratched. Poor Adrian Kempe. Kaprizov, Pitlick, and Boldy in Minnesota with Felino, Zuccarello, Fiala. This makes no sense. Aston Reese, Erickson at Greenway, Goodra, Hartman, Duhame. Defense, Brodeen, Spurgeon, Kulikov, Dumba, Russell, Lambos. Goalies are Talbot and Wallstead. Scratches of Shaw, Dewar, and Sweeney. Devils have Brat, Hughes, Pavelski. That's Gross. Pearson, Mercer, Tatar, Lekin, and Heischer, Holtz, Yarn, Croak, Saka, Sharon, Govich. Yeah, I don't think you needed to sign both Pearson and Yarn, Croak. And I don't think you needed to sign Pavelski when you had Tatar, Holtz, and Sharon, Govich. Just awful AI management. Defense is Dahan, Hamilton, Siegenthaler, Sievens, uh, Severson, Smith, and Schultz. Goalies, Bernier, and Blackwood. Scratches of Quokinen, Graves, and Andreas Janssen. Poor Ar Andreas Janssen. My God, the Devils are just like, let's sign everybody. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's ridiculous. The Preds have Forsberg, Tomasino, Janel, Tolvin, and Granlin, Evangelista. Look at Luke Evangelista. Camp assistants, Trocek, Johansson, oh, and Mulligan, HW, 2714 on the follow. I thank you. We get a look at Nashville's defense. Yossi Carrier, Afference, Fabro, Tennis Balls, and Phil Myers. Saros and Elliott. In goal, scratches of Hoffman, Cates, and Danforth. Just take the Columbus scratches. Islanders have Lee, Barzell, Bovillier. Nelson Wallstrom, Paul Mary, Sezikis Pajo, Martin, Ponick, Bellows, Bailey. Defense is Pelican and Pollock, Niku and Latang, who again I wish was a hab, but he elected to go to the Islanders, uh, Islanders instead. Uh, and now we know what Sammy Niku would have been, and I'm kind of glad we let him go. Dobson and Mayfield are there. Goalies of Varlamov took off last year. Sorokin behind him. Ishikov, Luff, and Eric Stahl as the scratches. Rangers have Panera, Zabanejad, Lafreniere, Kreider, Kako, Kravsov, Goodrow, Hedel, Gautier, Sheehan, Barron, and Radulov on the fourth line. Defenses Lindgren, Fox, Miller, Truba, Nemeth, Lundqvist. Goalie, Shesterkin, Georgiev. Stahl, back in New York with Kempney and Tenorti. Good for you, Mark Stahl. Back with the Rangers. The Sens have Stutzla, Hertel, and Batherson. My God, how much did Hertel sign for? Brown, Norris, and Pinto, Formanton, Kachuk, Blay, Lucic, Gambrell, and Ridley Gregg. Gregg and Lucic together, that sounds like a nightmare to play against. 
Defense is Shabbat and Zub Mete Brandstrom Del Zotto. <laughs> That's a morale issue in the Kita Zaitsev. Goalies are Murray and Gustafson. Sekera, Sokoloff, and Colin White as scratches. White's another morale issue. Flyers have Farabee, Katuria, Konechny, JVR, Giroux, Atkinson. Giroux staying on for six, seven, five for two years. Woodlot and Bozak, Lindblom, Forster, Stenland. Defense is Sanheim, Ellis, Provorov, Klingberg, McDonald, and Demirs. Goalie is Carter Hart, big boost. Alongside Craig Anderson. Malt 7 Divara and Frost as the scratches. Should I save my bits for tomorrow's stream? So Twitch takes a cut of bits and donations, or uh, excuse me, of bits and subs. So I am trying to fully emphasize people just donating tomorrow. So you could save your bits for another occasion. I, uh, you know, could technically have it be set up that way, but then the donations are late. And again, Twitch also takes a cut. So, you can use them outright today on me, you can use them on someone else, save them for a rainy day, but, yeah, unfortunately with Twitch taking a cut, I'm really trying to, uh, avoid subs and, uh, and bits tomorrow, so. Oh, Gensel, Crosby, Puistinen, Yetzlaff, Domi, Rust, what the hell? Uh, Bluger, Bjorkstad, Trennan, McGinn, Kraus, Kapanen, boy, that team is drastically different. You thought I drastically changed them for season one. Defense is Joseph Marino, Dumoulin Friedman, Matheson, Ruedel. Goalies, Jari and Clang. That we donate tomorrow. There will be a donation link. But thank you, HW, for the 150 bits, though. I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make sure that we get the full amount to where it's supposed to go. Pedersen, Dugan, and Zucker as scratches. Uh, but yeah, John, John, there'll be a link up. You'll see it constantly throughout the stream in chat. Um, yeah, it'll just be as simple as clicking that. It'll be just like donating normally to any other streamer. It'll just be, hey, click the specific link this time. Donskoy, McCann, Everly, Gord, Donato, Tanev, Byron, Achari, Appleton, Schwartz, Beneers, Lind. Defense is Ekholm, Alexiak, Dunn, Larson, Flurry, Gustafson. Goalie is Grubauer, Dreger. And scratch to Wenberg, Schrott, and Lozon. Uh, Brinks, you should. There's really no time limit on those, as far as I know. Also not the biggest hot guy in the world, though. San Jose, Meyer, Wright, and Kane. Whew. Eklund, Dahlin, Athanasiu, Gadjevich, Couture, LeBanc, Sanford, Reedy, Nieto. Well, at least the Sharks are smart enough to play Shane Wright as their top line center, you know, instead of being like Anaheim and fucking scratching him. Idiots. Why did Palmer use the as the Jets coach? Said he felt like it was time, which I respect. Also, if you look at everything going on in the NHL, what's a what's a great alternative? Uh, just going home and being with your family. Sounds like a lot of fun right now. For our Carlson, Valamaki, Burns, Shimmick, and Vlasic. Reimer Hill is the goalies. Middleton, Shemilevsky, Gregor. The scratches. St. Louis has Sad, O'Reilly, Bushnevich, Tarasenko, Thomas, Cairo, Boyle, Shen, Barbashev, Neighbors, Sunkfist, Boyd. Defense is Krug, Pareko, Goligoski, Falk, Scandella, Benning. Goalies are Bennington and Colton Ellis. Scratches Leabushkin, Brown, and Bortuzzo. Physical, physical defense. Tampa is Kalorn, Point, Kucherov, Palat, Stamkos, Sorelli, Cogliano, Belmar, Joseph, Helm, Colton, and Perry. Defense is Hedman, Chernock, Sergachev, McDonough, Simon, Benoit with Cal Foot. Goalies, Vasilevsky, and Alnefelts. Scratches of Radish, Bakushin, Beret, Aboule. Leafs have Bunting, Matthews, Nylander. Robertson, Marner, Tavares, Rowney, Paul, Lazar, Kasha, Engvall, Simmons, Frank. Hello, I was able to download those rosters, by the way. I haven't got to check them out yet, though. Got Muzzin, Brody, Riley, Liljegren, Sandine, Dermott. Goalie is Mrazek with Joseph Wall. Scratches of Josh Brown, Rodian Amirov, and Joey Anderson. Canucks have Garland, Pedersen, Hoaglander, Besser, Ruotsalainen, and Polt Colson. Cousins, Horvat, Dickinson, Koltsoff, Sutter, and Hina Stroza. Koltsoff was the ninth overall pick. What a pick that was. 
Defense is Hughes, Hamannick, Rathbone, Myers, OEL, and Kulak. Goalie is Demko and big save Dave. Holden, Thornton, and Merrill as the scratch. So Joe Thornton's a Canuck. Knights have Patch Ready, Eichel Stone, Marcheseau, Kolasar, Stevenson, Carrier, Carlson, Brisson, Dodonoff, Howden, Patrick. Defense is Theodore, Petrangelo, Martinez, White Cloud, McNabb, and Coughlin. Goalies, Brassois, and Leonard. What are you doing? I am in season two of franchise mode, and I want to see what the other teams look like because the AI do crazy things. Like have Morozov, Hagen, Elf, and S scratches. Not bad. <clears throat> the Jets have Connor Scheifele, Ellers, Dubois, Perfetti, Wheeler. Smart enough to play Perfetti on the second line. Maroon, Lowry, Blackwell, Veseline, and Paquette, Svechnikov. Defense is Schmidt, Pionk, Morrissey, DeMello, Dylan, and Pissick. Goalie is Hellebuck and Holm. The AI love having low 70 backups. It's crazy. Stepan, Subban, and Tierney in Winnipeg. PK, you happy you went to Winnipeg? You would have been a starter here, buddy. You could have stayed. And Washington is Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, Sprong, McMichael, LaPierre, Wilson, Mantha, Stashny, Oshie, Sherry, Backstrom, Hathaway. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is there. I, I wouldn't have signed Paul Stashney. That's the answer. Have Backstrom at least as the third line center. It was just an unnecessary move. Defense is Orloff, Carlson, TVR, Jensen, Fehavari, Strawman. Goalies, Halak, and Samsonov. Hutton, Zadorov, and Eller. As the scratches. So those are the lineups for season two. And again, one more look at our team. I'm fairly confident. I'm fairly confident we could be a playoff team. Revy, what's going on, buddy? I'm fairly confident we could be a playoff team. And if not, we have some pieces that we can trade away. And we will hopefully still be okay. So let's sim a little bit. Season 2. Underway. And we lose 7-4 to four to Washington to start off the season. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see. Nice little 0-1-2 oh, and two start to the season. Oh, two and two. Oh, boy, look at these playoff aspirations. Here we go. All right. Oh, three and two to start the season. Oh, four and two to start the season. This feels eerily familiar. And we finally get our first win of the year. It's against the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, boy. Hey, we have hopes, and it's gone. See, I'm telling you, Carey at an 84, 923 save percentage. Carey goes up to an 89, 887 through seven games. I'm telling you, people that bitch about goalie ratings. It's a pointless battle. As Jake Allen gets the win against Florida. We will play Buffalo again. Let's see if Carey can get back-to-back uh, -back wins against the Sabres. He does not. Two, five, and two. Carolina, 4-2 win. Columbus, pretty good team so far this year. We get shut out 1-0. We'll play Philly and win 3-2. So 4-6-2. We've uh, gotten a little bit better as of late, but nothing too crazy. As Jake Allen plays the Islanders and loses. The funny thing is we're still not close to dead last in our division anymore. All it took was a couple of wins. We'll get to the beginning of December, then we'll take a look at stats and everything, and if we have to change anything around. Washington, as Jeff Petrie will be out until the beginning of December with a separated shoulder. So, we need to call ourselves up a right-handed defenseman, because Mahora is a lefty. I mean, Brooke would make sense, but he'd have to go through waivers. So, uh, congrats to Gianni Fairbrother. You are going to get to make your NHL debut, sir. Uh, we'll go best lines. And just re-establish everything here. He's still will take out for Mitch Stevens. The defense is Geo Edmondson, or Geo Clegg Edmondson. Let's get Mahura out of there. Whoops. Bring in Fairbrother. 
We'll go Giordano, Romanoff, Clegg, Savard, Edmondson, Fairbrother. It's about the best we can do. That is an unfortunate injury. Uh, and defensively, we might as well just go best lines for now. Fix it up afterwards. Otherwise, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. We lost that game 7-4 to four as well. Christian Dvorak is leading this team. He's a point-per-game pace right now. As we lose 6-0 to the Toronto Maple Leafs. 13 goals allowed in our last two games. And Kale Clegg fractures his jaw. All right. I can see how this season's going to go. Don't worry. I see how this is going to go. So we have Giordano, Edmondson, Mahora. I guess we might as well run Edmondson and Romanoff. So it'll be Giordano, Savard, Edmondson, Romanoff, Mahora, and Fairbrother, I guess. All right, and we lose again. Four, nine, and three. We play the Islanders. We lose again. Four, ten, and three. Nashville. We win two to one. Pittsburgh. This is Mahora. <laughs> that is our third injury to a defensive player. Holy hell. I mean, Clegg is just about healthy, but I can't risk playing him until he is 100% healthy. Uh, let's go for... Uh... God, who do we go for at this point? Let's go for Norlander. He's 22. I'm going to try to get him to develop relatively fast. Maybe an NHL game or two uh, will help out. And again, we need to flip some stuff around here. We didn't have nearly... We didn't have this much injury uh, consistency throughout the entirety of all of last season. If that makes sense. And now we get to this year and the team is dropping like flies. Norlinder Fair, brother, Edmondson Romanoff, Giordano Savard. Again, we'll just go best lines in the AHL, even though I don't think it'll affect it too much. So Carolina's up next. We win 5-2, to two, which is shocking. Gallagher's now the leading scorer on the team. Let's get Allen in there. Price is sub-900. Clegg is still not 100%. We play the Canucks, and now Clay is 100%. Back-to-back -back wins. Actually, three straight wins for the first time, oh, potentially all season. You. And shout-out to I'm Horny with the name of the day. And true. I wink better with my right eye than my left eye, I've discovered. Uh, okay, let's send down a left defenseman. Let's send down a left defenseman, Norlander. Have fun back in the minors, brother. And let's see what we can do here. So I have a feeling, like I said, my my first, like, okay, let's check the team type of date is going to be December 1st. And at this point, it makes sense, despite the injuries, to hold to that. Because who the hell knows what the stat lines are even going to look like. We will keep running Edmondson Romanoff, so Clegg will be with Fairbrother. And again, we'll just go best lines in the AHL for now. All right. We play Carolina. Final game in 5 2. So there we go. 9 10 and 3 as of December 1st is not what we were expecting at all. The Bruins are the top team in the division, which is absurd. Uh, then the Leafs, the Lightning, and the Panthers are also there. If we look off of point Take percentage, really, <laughs> as Pink Ninja. Hits us up Jeez. on the prime unnecessary. for the 29 month. Of he's been asked to leave the ball game for ruining a good piece of pizza. 29, <laughs> sir. 29, Ninja. How are you? Thank you very much for continuing to support my face. I do appreciate it. I do greatly appreciate it. So basically, right now, hard transition back to what we were talking about. Leafs, Lightning, Bruins at the top of the Atlantic. In the Metro, it is the Caps, Blue Jackets, and Rangers. Fair enough. 
The top teams in the Central, Blues, Wild, and Jets. Meanwhile, you have the Avs, Preds, and Coyotes that all absolutely suck. And then the Pacific top teams right now, the Oilers, Ducks, and Flames off of point percentage. Still early enough that point percentage makes the most sense. Uh, because for the most part, it lines up anyway. So, let's take a look here. Actually, you know what? I want, I want to look at our team from a different perspective. Let's go to edit lines. So, Toffoli has 14 points, but is a minus 8. Ugh. Suzuki, 16 points and a minus 9. And then Cole Caulfield's essentially being asked to carry the entire line because Tyler Toffoli can't score goals right now. Hoffman on 12 points, 16 for Dvorak, and 16 for Gallagher. It's fairly obvious that we need to make a change, and the change that we can make is Hoffman for Toffoli. That's the only change we can really make here. Sleep schedule is crazy. I, I completely understand. <laughs> You are preaching to the choir on that one, sir. So we'll go Hoffman, Suzuki, Caulfield. Honestly, I'm tempted to bump Cole down as well and maybe take some of the pressure off. If we go Hoffman, Suzuki, Gallagher, to Foley, Dvorak, Caulfield. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. Richie, what's going on? Armia on nine points. Paling on nine points. 14 for Josh Anderson. Still only two goals. On the fourth line, Greer with three points and a minus four. Four points and a minus four for Stevens. Four points and a minus three for Jake Evans. So we really haven't gotten much out of that fourth line. Giordano, seven points and a plus two. Only two points for David Savard. Edmondson on three. Five points for Romanoff. Seven for Clegg. And Fairbrother with three points and a minus two in his limited time. Price has an 899 save percentage, a 917 for Jake Allen through four appearances. Petra has eight points in 14 games. Yeah, just not not much has gone our way. Not much has gone our way so far this season. Different line combos we can try, but for the most part, we are just having trouble scoring goals. Does that sound familiar? Throughout the league, Nikita Kucherov is the Leading point getter, just blowing it out of the water right now, but Ovi is still a goal scoring machine. You have Braden Point up there with the assists next to Kucherov. You get Kuznetsov working with Ovechkin. Then it's Marshawn, Matthews, Malkin in Arizona, Panarin, and uh, Jonathan Taves. The goal scoring king right now is Ovi. Kucherov has also broken 20. Tarasenko on 13, Bertuzzi on 12. And the assist king right now is Kuznetsov. Penalty minute leaders, Sorelli and Yamamoto with 28 each. Faceoffs one. Center. 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 So the first guy in terms of total faceoffs one that's not a natural center is who? I think, there you go. Mitch Marner. He does have a 57% win percentage. But at the end of the day, if that's worth complaining about, oh, he shouldn't be a 99 and they played him at center and it breaks it. Like, Mitch Marner also used to play center. So in a way, it's not even that immersion breaking. Aside from Mitch Marner, the next guy who doesn't have center as a, a primary or secondary position is Marshawn. He has 99 face-offs. He has a 41%... Win percentage so far this season. I will not hear complaints that 99 face-offs ruin the game and ruin these rosters. You do not know what you're talking about. Game, set, match to somebody that does know what he's talking about, who does test this stuff out, and who wouldn't set it up this way if it was broken. Good day. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. We had to do it. We had to say it. It had to be said. It had to be said. Anyway. Uh, marching on. The quick little updates with everything going on. Uh, defensively. Kale McCarr. Oh my god, what is happening? Kale McCarr is leading the way in terms of points. Carlson, McAvoy, Hamilton, Yossi, Krug, Latang, Riley, and Hedman are all very much up there. 
Goal scoring coming out is John Carlson. A lot of guys up there with eight, including Ole Levy. In terms of goalies, the winningest is Mike Smith. Shutout leader so far is Bobrovsky with four. Save percentage leader is Mrazek. Among starters at a 941. I don't think that's sustainable. In the rookie race right now, Matt Boldy leading the way, but he has competition from a lot of different people. A lot of different people indeed. So that is the uh, December 1st update for us, and we uh, we suck. 